Hello and welcome to this quick look at something new from T-Drones, part of the T-Motor organization. Now I'm a fan of T-Motor, I really like their motors and ESCs and you'll see them being used on both quads and also on planes here all the time. And it kind of skipped past me that they were actually also making drones as well. And imaginatively, they've titled that part of their company T-Drones. Now, there have been a couple of units already available, uh, reasonably large, expensive, professional pieces of kit. One is called the VA-23, that's a VTOL unit. The second is a VA-25, and they just released the VA-17. Now, I was lucky enough to actually be up at 3DXR with Ben when he received his first shipment of these new VA-17s. And as he was unboxing it, I was kind of looking over his shoulder, and this looks like a really cool piece of kit. It isn't cheap, it's aimed at the professionals out there who want to build tilt rotor VTOLs. The other two until now have been classic 4 plus 1 style that lots of professionals like, but this is their first tilt rotor variant. So I thought, well, while well, I've got a camera and a bit of recording equipment, Ben can kind of show us through some of the features of this new VA-17. Again, this isn't aimed at those of us in the hobby. This isn't a two or three hundred dollar VTOL aircraft. It's considerably more. However, what I'm hoping is that as the T-Drones part of the T-Motor business continues to blossom and bring out more products, that they'll start to think about us here in the hobby and bring some of this professional grade stuff down within our reach without breaking the bank. So over to Ben to go through some of the features of the new VA-17. Okay, so really excited to show you this today. So this is the T-Drones and it's a VA-17. So it's one of their VTOL aircraft. Uh, it's a 17, so it's 1.7 meters. Um, now this arrives to us as you see, it's a sort of PNP configuration. It also includes the carry case. So a uh, canvas style uh, carry case to put it in. Um, now this um, on first impressions is really cool. Um, it's a mixture of EPP foam and carbon fiber. Um, it's got a really nice feel to it. It feels so strong. I don't know if it's sort of denser than normal. It's also got this semi-textured finish, which I think has improved the airflow and aerodynamics, kind of that like golf ball effect. Um, so as you see it now is how this PNP kit would arrive. So it has the motors pre-installed. Um, so this is a tilt rotor. Um, so we have the two motors on the wings tilt. Um, and a stationary motor on the uh, tail section. Lots of nice features on this aircraft. The rear tail motor is also locking, so magnetically locking. That holds it straight with the propeller straight to reduce drag. Um, these custom motors again on the tilting mechanism, all nicely integrated sort of hidden wiring and hidden servos in here. Um, the attention to detail is amazing on this. So all the servos for both the ailerons and the V-tail they're also recessed into the body, so you don't see the servo, and you just see the sort of servo head tilting. Um, it has, it comes with all the electronics for the PDB and ESC, so there's quite a nice um, PDB in here with a few different levels of voltage takeoff. Um, it's all very nice and neatly wired, and uh, this sort of PNP configuration allows you to really quickly put your flight controller in and all your other sort of control electronics. So what you're seeing here is motors, servos, ESCs, and um, it does come with the propellers as well. It has the pitot tube, but not the sensor. So the sort of products you need to finish this would be a flight controller such as Cube Orange Plus, a GPS, where we have a nice mounting position out of the way of all the electronics, an airspeed sensor, your radio gear. You may wish to put a camera on this, and any other sort of electronics you may wish to have a lidar for landing detection um, but it does make for a very quick build now some of the specs on this one so we said it's 1.7 meter wingspan about 1.3 meters long it has a custom battery specifically meant for this which is going to give you the longest endurance so it has an 8s 14,500 milliamp hour solid state high voltage battery so that's a T-Drones product, it's part of your Res series, so that has also just arrived. Um, so with that battery in, um, you can get flight times of approximately two hours, and that's with um, an 800 gram payload. Now that is the specifications we've been given. Obviously we haven't yet built and flown one of these yet. Um, so some of that information will be to sort of verify. Um, they're quoting a maximum payload of up to 900 grams. And with the battery, 
and your max payload, you're looking at a takeoff weight of around five and a half kilos. Um, so very portable and being able to carry just under a kilo gives you quite a lot of options for cameras, for mapping cameras, for um, zoom cameras, for sort of monitoring and surveillance. So there's quite a versatile aircraft that packs into a very small package. Um, it's easy to handle. So all of the um, joins are sort of toolless assembly. So you have quick release sort of push buttons to remove the wings where you have blade connectors. So there's no connecting of wires. There's no screws or anything like that. The tail also just unscrews and pulls off. Very secure, but also very quick to assemble. So the whole thing packs down into a carry case. Um, it does have backpack straps on it. So you, if you wanted to, you could carry it. Um, but it's quite a nice size that would fit into your car. Um, we also have here markers for center of gravity, which you can easily either hold if you're strong or thread string through it. So you can always check your balance. But yeah, it's first impressions. It's a very nice aircraft, very um, high quality finish, good quality electronics. Also how it's all neatly wide and hidden. We do have some LEDs as well for sort of orientation and just visualize to see it. So this is an aircraft that we're, that we're going to be playing with over the next few months. Um, I can see quite a few uses for this aircraft. It does have um, a sort of lending itself for a cube or similar autopilot. It also has um, a removable payload cover on the bottom and the mounting plate. So I think there's a few options here for suspending some of our mapping cameras and some of our surveillance cameras. Um, and also with this type of endurance, I think this is a very versatile platform that's also man portable. So I think we'll be doing a lot of videos on this aircraft. If there's something you would like to see about this, please do mention in the comments and we'll see if we can make a video about that. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.